British Grand Prix is the halfway point in this year's World Championship. And it sees history being made here at Silverstone because this is the last time the circuit will be used in its existing form before there are major alterations to reshape it. Today, at Grand Prix's fastest circuit, the World Championship is wide open. Silverstone suits Nigel Mansell. It's where he's had some of his greatest successes. And he needs some success here today because he's only finished three times in the first seven races. But Nigel Mansell starts the British Grand Prix in a brilliant pole position. Uh, it's a bit special. Uh, I'll, I'll even concede that. It was uh, probably one of the best laps I've ever done in my career. Now, what staggered me was how quickly you appeared to know that you had done it. How, how did you know so quickly? Oh, when you do a lap like that, uh, I mean, uh, you know. There's no question. You go through every corner, and you know, here, especially with Stone Club, you can't breathe through there because you're pulling, well, with that speed, over 4G, maybe even upwards of 5G in a certain place. So uh, you know you're going quick. The Fosters British Grand Prix is an important race for Ferrari, but it's no less important for McLaren. They were beaten by Ferrari in Mexico and France, and they start behind Mansell, second and third on the grid today, in a situation where Silverstone hasn't been their best circuit in the past. And today is an historic one for Grand Prix Racing and Riccardo Patrese, who starts a record 200th World Championship race. That's a lot of Grand Prix, but Ricardo's lost none of his enthusiasm. Being a Formula One driver is something that uh, I really enjoy, and uh, because of that, uh, I always had the great pleasure to stay in this world, and this is the reason because I'm still motivated. Also, because now I think uh, things are going better. The car is uh, much more competitive. I have a very good team behind me with Williams Renault, so it's, it's easier also in this period, I should say, than in the past. After one and a half seasons of miserable failure, the Bister-based Leighton House team made a storybook comeback in last week's French Grand Prix where, after failing even to qualify in Mexico, Italy's Ivan Capelli and his Brazilian teammate Maurizio Gujumin held an astounding first and second places for 20 laps. Capelli finished second to reward a hard-working team which could do well here today, for Silverstone, like the French track, is smooth and fast. In Formula One, weight is very important as Jonathan Palmer explains. When a Formula One car designer plans a new car, it's imperative that he keeps the weight right down to the 500 kilo regulation minimum. That's less than the weight of a Mini. An overweight car is not just slow on acceleration. It also takes longer to stop, and most importantly, can't corner as fast. Vital at Silverstone with its awe-inspiring 165 mile per hour stow and club corners. Teams have a yardstick for this basic rule of Formula One physics. Every 40 kilos costs one second per lap. This handicap is best displayed when the fuel tank is filled for the start of the race with around 45 gallons of petrol, increasing the car's weight by one third. To the driver, it's like piling five adults into a family car and loading the roof rack. One of the keys to weight reduction is extensive use of this magic material, carbon fiber, which enables the chassis, wings, bodywork, and many other components to be made as strong as steel yet for just one-fifth the weight. These front wings, for example, can support half a tonne, yet weigh just a couple of kilos. The cars are weighed after the race, but are also checked at random as they come into the pits during qualifying, when the driver's weight is deducted. For unlike horse racing, light drivers don't have to carry ballast, so they're at an advantage. All of which means that poor old Nigel Mansell, weighing nearly 20 kilos more than teammate Alan Prost, must drive his Ferrari half a second a lap faster just to keep up. <laughs> 